Hi, this is Rich Weekly from Barthorpe Electric. In this short video, I want to show you how to do a uh, simple three-wire start. This time, the language we're going to use is in structured text. So I already have this M340 Test 1 project open. I'm going to go to Tools Project Browser. So here's the ladder section and the function block section that we've created. in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to this. So I just right click on section under programs task mast for master. We'll just call this one ST section. And then the language I'm going to select out of the list is ST for structured text. And it'll bring up basically what looks like a blank sheet of paper because I'm just going to type out some structured text statements. So I wanted to look at the ladder before we start to just kind of show you the uh, one of the main things with structured text um, we're always going to have the action first so in this case we have the signal which stop and the start push button so then the action that happens is the motor one gets energized well, in the structured text section, then that's going to be motor one is going to be the first variable. Oops. Because that's the action that we want to happen. Okay. So we're actually going to start with the action and then we'll go ahead and put this and statement in there stop push button and start push button. So if I just wanted that first line in structured text, then I would have the stop. button and start push button and I'm just using the same variables that I did in the ladder and the function block so because they're in the variable table already so if you're not sure how to create those and then in that ladder video I kind of show you how to do that and then any of the structured text statements the line needs to end with a semicolon okay. And if something's not right, if it doesn't, uh, let's say that we don't spell this right or the variable is actually not in the list. So I took that underscore out of there. You can see that it puts this red line. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. It puts a red line underneath it. Okay? So if I don't have any lines, everything goes away and it looks good, then that I can kind of tell as I'm typing going along with the statement looks good. So. That's what it would look like in structured text, this first line. Well, we have the stop push button and the start push button or motor one. So we can go back in here and we can add that start push button or motor one. Okay. And then that's how it would look. So if I tile these this is the exact same logic. This is how it would look in structured text. Okay. The other thing I wanted to show you, if I want that's kind of handy with structured text, is I can add notes in here. So if I put a bracket and a star, then I can say this is a three wire start, and then I can close with a star in a bracket. So as long as I have it star in a bracket at the beginning and the end, I can put all kinds of comments in here and it's not going to pick it up like logic. I can I can you know kind of explain to people what I'm doing in the structured text section. So that's what it looks like in structured text. I go ahead and build this. We'll build changes or rebuild the whole thing. So now you see we have the ladder function block structure text stack section and we can load those in the simulator and uh, we can uh, simulate the logic. So if you're not sure how to do that, I kind of show you how to do that in the ladder section where we actually loaded that ladder in the simulator. Or I've got a separate video that's just for loading a project in a simulator and uh, simulating that project. So. That'll do it for this video on structured text. If you have anything uh, that you'd like to see that you're not seeing in the videos, uh, don't hesitate to email 
and I can certainly put one together. So thank you.